Hi there, Game Master with you here, and today we're going to be talking about levels and hues. Levels and hues are what brings out your photo from the rest of the other photos. You know, you may see it along, walk along the street, and you may see a faded out flower or something, and you could say, hey, I'm going to make that right. So, here's a picture I took in my backyard, and we're going to make this stand out. And I'm just going to be showing you a couple things about levels and hues. So, to start off, I'm going to be showing you a little, about, little bit about hues. So, you're going to go ahead and click Colors and Hue Saturation. Okay, so it's, this little thing will pop up. And watch the flower as I turn up the hue. It'll start to change color. Now, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, I have a awesomely green flower. I mean, who who wants that? You tell me. All right. So here's a blue flower, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave that at 0. If I can get it back there. All right. But here's the main tool. Saturation. Saturation is the amount of color that is put into the photo. So if I go ahead and hit turn it up, we're going to see a little bit of difference. See? So, alright, not the best, but you may, this flower was already pretty great. So there, you'll see that. Now watch the difference. I'm going to redo, undo that. There's the pa faded, and there's the color. Faded, color, faded, color. Alright, <laughs> so there you get a load of that. Alright, so there you go, that's the basics of hues. Now, you can also go ahead and go to hue saturation and mess around with the lightness. Now, usually, this kind of messes it up, but it's kind of neat once you get to the right settings. Some of the colors are messed up. So, we're going to go ahead and we can this see it's already messed up from the time before all right so let's go ahead and get going with levels now if you want levels they are pretty much saturation but for black and white so to turn this photo black and white I want you to right click go down to colors and then go to desaturate now, this is going to turn your photo black and white now you can mess with three options lightness Luminosity or average. Now, it's always different for every photo. So, luminosity looks really great on this photo. But in other terms, if it was a darker photo, lightness might help it. So, we're going to go ahead and use luminosity. Click OK. And now, right click, go to Colors, and go to Levels. Now, this is just more of an experimental thing. You can go ahead and turn up the dark to the lighter, and that just lightens it, but that's on the output. You can mess around with the lightness, and this turns it darker. And this is where the real magic happens. You can go ahead and mess around with the mediums, the lights, and the darks, and make it so it looks really nice. Usually, the darker the photo, the better it turns out. So, as you can see, a flower isn't probably the greatest thing to turn black and white, since it is the most colorful thing ever. So, this isn't really great, but it's an awesome thing to do this on, because it has lots of shadows, if you can see them down here. And then on the tips, it has light ends from where the sun is hitting it. So, you can go ahead, hit OK. And there you go. You can always mess with the levels differently while you're doing an actual photo. I use the levels tool to enrich my photos. As in, if something is faded out in black and white, I use the levels. If it's faded out, which I usually use in flowers, I turn up the saturation just a tad so it'll look nice and not so faded out. So, thank you for watching this video tutorial on levels and hues. Thanks so much, and watch out for my next tutorials. Thanks. Bye.